Let's find out why women fancy thugs once a month. Liverpool, England, famous for its football, cathedrals and music. Yeah, it's the hometown to the Beatles and all that love, love me do stuff. And that's why Mad Labs has come here. We're looking for love, but not at the Cavern Club. We're heading up to the university to find out why it is that women change their minds about the one they love once a month. Meet Rob Burris of the University of Liverpool. But there has been some research that's shown that women, when they are, uh, are in the most fertile phase of their cycle, are more likely to uh, go out to a singles nightclub uh, without a male partner and uh, to, to go there in more revealing clothing. And women have also been shown to fantasise more about uh, men who aren't their partner and also to, to sleep with men who aren't their partner more frequently during this um, fertile phase of their cycle. That's right, boys. Once a month, that normally loving partner of yours may think about straying especially if she sees something big or butch. Apparently, this is totally understandable, according to Tamsin Saxton, a behavioural biologist at the university. In evolutionary terms, when you're picking a mate, you're picking somebody who can help you have healthy children. And that, you're looking for two distinct things. One of them is somebody who can help, who can give you resources, so who can maybe provide you with presents or money or, or give the same sort of things to your children. And the other is somebody who can give you healthy genes, because if your children have healthy genes that can deal properly with the environment, then they're going to grow up and be healthy and strong themselves. That's right, guys. Women want two things, even if they don't know it. On the one hand, they want a man who's going to stick around and change the nappies. But once a month, it seems they're only interested in one thing, hunky men that will produce hunky children, even though they'll never be around to push the pram. And it seems it's not just women who can spot a rugby shirt once a month. Rob Burris believes that men, too, have a subtle biological clock that changes as their partner nears ovulation. To prove it, he created a number of faces, which he hoped would typify the extremes of masculine and feminine features found in male faces. A masculine face is usually typified by quite a strong jawline, um, thinner lips and a wider nose, generally lower down eyebrows. And conversely, a feminine face will have the opposite features, so uh, larger lips, a thinner nose, a bigger forehead, bigger eyes. And during the uh, most fertile phase of a woman's menstrual cycle, she'll be more uh, interested in masculine-faced men, uh, while during the rest of her cycle she'll be more interested in feminine-faced men. So that's the women. But do blokes become more interested in masculine faces at certain times of the month, too? To find out, Rob took a group of men who were in relationships and tested their ability to notice the masculine features in the photographs. And we just got these men to rate the faces, rate these composites uh, for dominance on a scale of 1 to 7. And then we were able to compare between men whose partners were in the fertile phase and men whose partners were in the non-fertile phase the average scores they gave to these dominant and submissive faces. He found that men, like Steve here, were more likely to notice the more masculine faces in the pictures if their partners, like Julie, were ovulating, suggesting that a subconscious awareness of their partner's fertility has set them on a course to become jealous of these potential love rivals. Jealousy can be a very useful um, Thing, but it can also be very dangerous. So if a person's overly jealous, then that can lead to their relationship being dissolved, and, um, and of course, no one wants that. So um, it pays men to be most, well, I'll say most sensitive, most jealous, when their partner is most likely to cheat. So be warned, girls. If all of a sudden that ugly thing in the rugby shirt looks great, he won't in a day or two. Worse still, if you make a move, that normally placid boyfriend of yours might get all butch and do something silly. 